Hi, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ulina and I'm a knitter from Norway. And as you might know, I love doing these what I knit in a week videos. And every time I post it, it seems like you do too. So here I'm back with yet another what I knit in a week video. And this week is Easter. So I'm at my parents' cabin and I really want to do a what I knit in a week Easter edition. So that's what I'm going to do so I'm going to be here for about a day and then we're also going to do some other things this Easter and I'll just take you with me but before that I want to show you the projects I'm planning on knitting on this Easter and I think we can start with the ones I've already cast on so first off is my Milan's sweater that I'm knitting myself and I am on the neckline now. I really want to finish this neckline before I move on to anything else. And I also have, I think I have two skeins of each color to keep knitting on the sleeves if I have enough time. I have packed with me a lot of yarn to the cabin even if though I'm only going to be staying here for one night because I'm not a light packer when it comes to yarn. But this is the Milan sweater. I'm knitting it with drops. Flora in the color white and then in blue and I have yeah I have two skeins of each color so I think I have enough to finish this actually if I just have the time but the neckline I'm definitely going to finish so that's the first thing and then another thing I have with me that I have already started on is my wedding dress all of the yarn has tangled of course but I also have my wedding dress with me. I am trying to be a bit better at actually knitting on this. I haven't really knit on it for the past three weeks, I think. But I want to knit a little bit on it this Easter and I am trying to knit on this at special occasions and everything. So I have a lot of memories in this dress and I think knitting uh, on this when it's Easter at my parents' cabin would be great so I have that with me but I only have one of each skein because I'm not antip anticipating getting a lot of knitting done but hopefully a few rows maybe at least one cable and then I have uh, with me six skeins of perfect <laughs> because I thought <laughs> maybe my mom is laughing at me right now <laughs> But I thought maybe I would want to do socks. I feel like socks is a great thing to knit at the cabin. So I thought, even though I don't really want to knit socks, <laughs> that I would bring that with me just in case. <laughs> I thought I'd bring that with me just in case and I couldn't really decide on if I wanted to knit socks for my son or myself so I just brought all of it but yeah I have six skeins of this I don't know maybe I'll cast uh, on a pair of socks because all of the other projects are quite big projects um, but I don't know I have the yarn and the needles to make the socks but I don't know if I'll actually end up knitting them because my last plan that is the thing I'm looking the most forward to is knitting the Ingrid sweater and I'm so excited I've even made a swatch which I never do but I'm going to be knitting the Ingrid with Pergunt in the color Poppy I think. I got it at the Sanaskan outlet so it doesn't have the band roll it usually has but this is Pergunt. I think I might have brought five skeins of that as well just in case I get a lot of knitting done. Um, Ingrid is really addictive, so we'll see. But I haven't cast on yet because I really wanted to cast on at my parents' cabin, so that's what I'm going to do immediately after this. But this is the plan I'm definitely the most excited about, and I'm thinking about this like my um, Easter cast on, so this is definitely going to be my focus this Easter. And I also think this color is just so beautiful and bright. So I'm super excited to be knitting with that. Um, 
I have a bit of a problem because there is no electricity here and there is no Wi-Fi here or internet of any kind so I will see how much I'm able to film and if I can even get the pattern because I usually have my patterns on knit and note and I can't access that because I don't have internet so we'll see hopefully I have them saved on my phone as well so I can actually knit but for now I'm just going to finish this before I start with anything else so this actually gets finished um, but that was all of my plans and now I'll just get back to knitting and I hope you want to knit with me this week
Orange. 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 on what I've been knitting on and as you've probably seen I've been obsessed with my Ingrid. I honestly just want to spend all my awake hours knitting on this and just stay awake all the hours of the day to knit on this. I love the color, I love the stitch definition it has with Per Gint. I think this is going to be a lovely warm sweater and you're definitely going to be able to see me when I'm wearing this and it just feels so great to knit it up. I am loving all of the different textures on this day because I'm always intrigued. I always want to go on because there's always something new and if I just knit a couple of rows more I get to do something new so this just tricks me into <laughs> continuing knitting on it again and again and again. But now the back yoke is Done. So this has been up on a bit of a break since I was <laughs> supposed to finish a few other things before starting this. I just couldn't help myself. So it's been on a bit of a break now, but I am so excited to start on the, sho the shoulders and do the front yoke as well, because then I can finally try it on for the first time. So I really want to just work on everything else so I can get back to this at soon as possible but this is the Ingrid so far and I really recommend it. I am hosting a knit along for this right now and we are having so much fun showing our swatches to each other and our progress and just talking through it. I love being part of a knit along so if you want to join that knit along just let me know. It's in a group chat on Instagram, so just send me a DM and I'll add you. But this is my Ingrid. So far I am almost through my second skein, but since these skeins are from the outlet, they're not exactly 50 grams. Some of them are like 10 and then some of them are 50, so... But this is my second. And then um, the project I was supposed to work on. Um, this one, my Milan sweater. I was supposed to finish the color before casting on the Ingrid and I didn't do that, but I did finish it the day after. So I did take a bit of a break from the Ingrid to finish the color. There is a bit of bunching in the front around the color. So I think I might have picked up a few stitches too little, but I think once it's blocked and once it's been worn a couple of times, it won't really be an issue because if I hold it up, can't see it you can only see it really if I hold it like this um, but I think I just picked up a few <laughs> stitches too little right around the curve here um, but this is it I am planning hopefully to pick up stitches for at least one sleeve today and hopefully get through the German short rows at least because the German short rows on this is really holding me off knitting on this right now because I know I'll be um, stuck to a pattern. I'll have to read the pattern a lot around the German short rows so this isn't really an easy knit right now so I can't really knit on it while my son's awake or while I'm trying to watch something on the TV so I just want to get that out of the way as soon as possible so this turns into an easy knit again because just knitting sleeves and doing regular decreases doesn't really take too much thinking but with German short rows I really have to be invested so that's my plan, hopefully after this chat I'll still have the time to do that, but this is what I've done so far this week. Um, hopefully it's not too tight, even though I think I have 10 stitches too few on the collar. Um, hopefully that will be okay. I am quite pleased with how it looks, except for the bunching. 
and this is so close to being done now so can't wait hopefully 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 i'll have at least one finished sweater by the end of this week we'll see if this turns into longer than a week just to finish one of the projects and then um let's see where all of my projects are i have them stashed so many different places but here is another of them my wedding dress and i've actually gotten in a few rows on this as well this was where i started this week down here and i think i've knit maybe two and a half centimeters so not a lot but i've actually picked it up again so that's been really nice and i'm trying to figure out a day of the week to kind of put this in my calendar so for example every tuesday is wedding dress day but i can't really figure out which day i would want to be wedding dress day if i want it to be like a weekday or on the, in the weekend so don't know still trying to figure that out but i have at least gotten a little bit on this done um, but yeah i have so many other projects i also want to get to so this is a little bit on the back burner and that's also why i want this scheduled for a specific day because then i know that day i have to work on the wedding dress and not all of the other projects i really want to work on so i think i'm leaning towards having that day be a sunday but also usually when we do other stuff it's on a sunday so i might lose a lot of knitting time on when doing the rest if i choose a sunday um and then the last project is this that i have been mostly knitting on for the last day uh we have been going around a lot traveling visiting my mom visiting friends of ours and it's been great to just have a small project I can put in my pocket when we're going somewhere and I can get in a few stitches. So this is Sunday Sock, it's the Sunday Sock Junior and I'm knitting it with Perfect and I've decided to make my son's sock first so these are in the size 26 to 27 and I'm done with the heel now and I'm doing the decreases so I think if I don't end up knitting sleeves on this today I might finish this and maybe both of the socks even if I get enough knitting time but it's been great to have quite a few projects to juggle around because this isn't quite that easy anymore the Ingrid is just super fun to knit on and I'm having a lot of fun and this is quite an easy knit as well because this is just stock knit basically with this one um, cable here um, and then these are just small and easy to take with me everywhere I'm going so that's what I have been up to so far this week and hopefully I'll have as much knitting time uh, in the coming days as well so I can actually get through some of these because I have even more plans for what I would like to get done this Easter but that was my little update for now and I'll pop in with another update later
Hi, I'm back with the last update or the last talk for this week. The week is now over. I started Monday, so yesterday, Sunday was the last day. And I think this week has been really great, both in terms of knitting. I feel like I've done quite a lot of knitting, but also just in terms of everything else in life. I feel like this week I had a really great balance between getting as much knitting as possible done and feeling really great about that but also being very present and doing a lot of other stuff throughout the week as well. I must say that I'm a bit tired now though after this week we've been around a lot of places we've been visited my parents cabin we've visited my parents we've visited friends we have had visitors um, and <laughs> there's just happened a lot more this week than I'm used to so I'm quite tired now but I feel like this week has been really great and we really got to do absolutely everything we wanted to so I am really pleased with how this week went but I thought I'd just end this video off by showing my progress on all the knits I've been knitting on this week and first off is the Milan sweater when this week started I was knitting on the collar and I finished that, even though I didn't finish it before casting on the Ingrid like I planned to, but I did finish it and I've started on the sleeve and the sleeve's moving along really slowly because this is not where I want to spend my knitting time right now, but I am trying to make myself knit on this. I tell myself, okay, now you can do this much on the Ingrid and then You'll have to go back to this. So today this is going to be what I knit on because I knit a lot on my Ingrid yesterday. But this is the melange and it is looking really good and the fabric is really nice and just because I've knit on it for so long now and uh, carried it with me everywhere I've went for the past two months I think. This has gotten, the fabric of this has gotten really soft. Flora is it's not that it's not soft, but it is a wool and alpaca yarn, um, so it's not super soft like merino is, for example. And usually it gets really soft after the first wash, but because I've knit on this for so long and I take my knits with me everywhere I go, this has been handled so much that it's gotten really soft. So I can't wait to see how soft this actually gets after I wash it. I did not manage to finish this in March, which I had hoped, but I have high hopes that I'm going to be able to finish it maybe within the next week or two. And I can't wait to wear it and now we're actually getting some spring weather here. Most of the snow is starting to melt and hopefully we won't get any more snow, so can't wait to finally get my spring sweater done. And then another project that I went into this week already knitting on was oh oops was my wedding dress and I don't think the progress on this is noticeable but I did knit all the way from down here and up there and I think now that this is done it's really hard to show of course since I'm wearing an oversized sweater but this is pretty much at the point I want it to be before starting the sleeves. I am, now that I'm at the point where I'm going to do the sleeves, I'm really unsure of what kind of sleeves I want. I'm starting to think of different sleeve styles again, but I'm at the point where I want to start the sleeves and then I'm going to pick up stitches down here and start on the skirt. And I think that's going to be really great. So you can actually see um, what it's supposed to look like, but this is it so far. I think I'm going to do eye cord in the back because I'm going to do, um, what's it called? Like a corset back maybe it would be called. So I think I'm going to do that first. I can try it on a bit better so I could, can figure out the sleeve placement. And then when this top is ready, all I have left to do is all the different parts of the skirts my cat really wants to get out wet. But I'm really happy with 
the progress I got on my wedding dress this week. It has been a really <laughs> slow pro uh, progress on that as well because I've not done a lot of other things. But this week I actually got somewhere. I'm happy that I got to the point where I now just have to figure out the sleeves. Uh, and then I started on a few other projects. Um, and I'll show the socks first. The Sendai socks. And this I started on, not because I re needed another project, but I just, it was really nice to have this with me since we were going. We were going somewhere else every day, so it was just nice to have something um, easy to pack with me. And this became like my designated, like traveling, going somewhere project. And it's almost embarrassing where I stopped because I stopped right where I'm going to do the toe decreases. So if I'd spend like another 15 minutes working on this, this stuff would be done. But this is where I stopped, and hopefully, I'll finish it maybe today since. Today I'm working on all other projects than my Ingrid, so this deserves some attention and I really want to have more socks for my son, so I need to get through this. And then the last project that I have been working on this week and what I am calling my Easter cast on is the Ingrid. This has been my main project this Easter. I have been absolutely enjoying it. I've had the best time working on this. I love the color. It's been, I think of this as quite like an Easter color. I know it's not yellow, but it kind of is red with this orange and yellow tones in it. And yeah, I've just absolutely enjoyed myself so much. It's also been great to work with Norwegian yarn, which Perigint is. And now, yesterday I finished the front yoke and I've already finished just the back of course, so I'm going to make this have a little break just so I can focus on some of my other projects. But I'm really wondering about the neck now, I think that's going to be the next thing I do when I pick this back up again. And I can't really figure out if I want the like original one, which is quite high, or if I want like a folded down one in double ribbing I think because Hergint while it's not itchy maybe it is a bit scratchy and I already am not the biggest fan of um what's it called like those high necks those turtlenecks I don't really love those and I found that for most of my sweater with turtlenecks them being turtlenecks really makes me wear them a bit less and I know this one isn't a turtleneck but I think it might be too close to a turtleneck and I don't want this to be a sweater I don't use because of the type of neck it's got and I know I can just rip it back and do it if it doesn't work out but I'm just really unsure um, if you've knit this what kind of neck have you done and did you like it but yeah that is my Ingrid in all its beauty this color is absolutely fantastic if you ever see the poppy color in no matter what type of yarn it is, I would recommend it. The poppy color is absolutely delightful and I am for sure going to get more poppy if I ever find it, no matter what yarn it is, because I am obsessed. I only now hope that I'll have enough yarn to also knit one for my son. I have one kilo of this red, red pergunt yarn, so hopefully it, I don't use too much yarn to make my own, so I can also have enough yarn to make my son one. But that is my last project I've been working on this Easter. I've also been working on trying to figure out sourdough. That is, I have not quite figured it out yet. If you uh, do sourdough, please leave me some tips how I can get the starter going. I am struggling to figure it out and every like recipe to start a starter I find is different. So. I hope that some of you know how to do sourdough. I feel like once you do one crafting hobby, you might get into more other creative hobbies. So if you have ever done, uh, done it, please let me know. I don't know what I'm doing. But that is everything for this week of knitting. I hope you enjoyed watching me 
net and watching what Easter is like for us. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. And if you want to see more from me, please subscribe. Bye!